ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूं आई वेलकम ऑल द डिवोटीज डिसाइपल्स समाजीज सत्संगीज सिटिंग विटस थ्रू नित्यानंद टीवी साधना टीवी लोटस टीवी जनश्री टीवी ईश्वर टीवी through the video conferencing and having nayana diksha all over the world in so many cities in so many countries cities sitting with us live in two way video conferencing having nayana diksha new zealand adi arunachalam london kashi devon uk winnipeg canada dakota dunes ಇಂದ್ರಾಣಿ ನ್ಯೂಜರ್ಸಿ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಅಬು ಹಲೀಫಾ ವೇದಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಾ ಉಜ್ಜಯಿನಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಚಾರ್ಲಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲಂ ಎನ್ರಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಬಿಡದಿ ಡ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ದ್ವಾರಕಾ ಗ್ವಾಡಲು ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಹೈದ್ರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಕೊಲಾಲಂಪೂರ್ ಪಳನಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಂಜಲಿಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಮಾ ಮುಕ್ತ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಮೂ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಒಕ್ಲಹಾಮ ಸೋಮನಾಥಂ ಓಮನ್ ಶಿವಗಂಗೈ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಚೀಪುರಂ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ಸಿಯಾಟ್ಲ್ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಅವೈಕನಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಕೈಲಾಸಂ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಗರಿ ಅಮರನಾಥಂ ಡೆಕೋಟಾ ಡೂನ್ಸ್ ದೇವೋನ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಲಂಡನ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಹಾಂಗ್ಕಾಂಗ್ ಸೀರ್ಗಾಳಿ ಕಾಠ್ಮಾಂಡು ನೇಪಾಳ್ ಮಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಮುಂಬೈ ಮುಲುಂದ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಫಿಲಡೆಲ್ಫಿಯಾ ರೆಡಂಡೋ ಬೀಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಿಯಾಗೋ ತಿರುವಾಲವಾಯ್ ಸಿಮಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಸಿಂಗಪುರ್ ಸಿಂಗಪುರಂ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ವ್ಯಾಂಕೋವರ್ ಭುವನೇಶ್ವರ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಪುರಂ ಕೊಲ್ರಾಡೋ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಜರ್ಸಿ ಓಂಕಾರೇಶ್ವರ್ ಓಮನ್ ಮಟ್ಟಕ್ಕಳಪ್ಪು ಇಲಂಗೈ ಸ್ಕಾಟ್ಸ್ ಡೇಲ್ ಧ್ಯಾನಪೀಠಂ ಮಧುರೈ ಮೊಲಿಯರೇಸ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. I will continue to expand on the characters of Mahabharata, concept of Kalpataru, self-denial, self-hatred, self-doubt patterns. please understand dhritarashtra self doubt attracts self destruction as a companion gandhari self destruction always looks like a sacrifice please listen any sacrifice out of incompletion will only be self destruction it will not be tapas kundi is also sacrifice but out of completion gandhari is also sacrifice but out of incompletion the kundi and gandhari are complete opposites sacrifice out of completion is tapas sacrifice out of incompletion is self destruction listen 
sacrifice out of completion is tapas sacrifice out of incompletion is self destruction in those days there were some sampradayas where physically they make men important to keep up their brahmacharya i am completely against it the psychology should evolve parasite pattern should be burned you should reach the space of brahmacharya that is what is sacrifice out of completion physically if they are made important that can never be a called tapas so please understand sacrifice out of completion is tapas sacrifice out of incompletion is self destruction self doubt dhritarashtra naturally attracts self destruction gandhari as the wife companion then both of them give birth to hundreds of self denial understand hundreds of self denial pattern when the self denial is born it will not have life when the self denial is born it will not have life it becomes hundreds of patterns that is what exactly happened when duryodhana was born it becomes hundreds of self denial patterns look into your life self denial will never be alone it will have hundreds of patterns so that from all sides you are attacked you are cornered when the self denial is born you have a choice to complete with it immediately but self doubt will not allow it to be completed dhritarashtra did not allow duryodhana to be killed even though they all know the duryodhana's birth is going to be inauspicious for the whole country vidura is the initiation into completion once in a while knowingly or unknowingly you do get initiated into completion somewhere you listen to some spiritual principles concepts truths but your self doubt will never allow you to trust power of completion your self doubt will never allow you to complete with power of completion and self doubt self hatred self denial they are so cunning again and again they will show to the world integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching as nothing to offer you they themselves are pauper they are they won't be able to offer you anything self denial self hatred uses all the cunning methods to take away everything from integrity and authenticity you are made to believe as if, if you are standing with integrity and authenticity you will be only a loser but who is the ultimately who is the loser self denial and self hatred i sincerely recommend every one of you to watch 
the mahabharata serial if you watch the mahabharata serial and come for satsang you will understand completely what i am saying i thank the whole team which is doing this mahabharata serial for doing such a great service to bharat the layers and layers and layers of socio political personalities of mahabharat is so beautifully portrayed by this team with so much of hard work i appreciate their hard work for portraying all the characters so beautifully and i really really appreciate that team and i wanted all of you to watch that mahabharata so when i am describing different characters you will understand more deeply tapas naturally aligns with the different powers of nature and gives birth to integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching kundi connects with surya indra dharma means the yama dharma vayu ashwini kumaras gives birth to pandavas but self doubt joins with self destruction and gives birth to self denial patterns understand self denial tries its best in every possible way to destroy integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching but the power of the guru krishna again and again and again protects the integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching sometime when the self denial self hatred and self doubt when all of them gather together they think they conquered the whole world and they try to create a scandal around enlightened beings and enlightenment that is what is draupadi vastra abharana they abuse enlightenment the whole science of enlightenment by trying to make draupadi naked that is what this communist foolish and the materialistic stupids ganging up together try to tell the world there is no such thing as enlightenment by pulling the rope disrupting the science of enlightenment see it is like if there is an enlightened being try to create a scandal around him and destroy but krishna appears and sends endless enlightened beings to planet earth and never ever the plans of self denial self hatred and self doubt can be successful the eternal amount of cloth which comes out of draupadi's body is the eternal number of enlightened beings landing on the planet earth the science of enlightenment is draupadi just by disrobing her abusing her the self denial and self doubt tries to prove the whole science is a fake and false but krishna intervenes 
and sends continuously infinite number of enlightened beings to planet earth and makes the self doubt and self denial tired please understand i'll make at least few million enlightened beings on the planet earth to make all these so called materialists atheists who are living in self denial and self hatred and self doubt make them all tired and make them understand the science of enlightenment is true that's the only way i'll protect the modesty of enlightenment the science of enlightenment i'll keep the honor of science of enlightenment draupadi around every enlightened master for every enlightened master at one point the self hatred self denial self doubt all three combinedly they try to attack and they try to take away everything from him is kingdom everything the disciples around him what has been done to yudhishthira the same thing they try to do it they even try to force him into exile but the power of krishna is such they cannot be destroyed they can't be destroyed only the self doubt and self destruction self denial gets destroyed look into your life your whole life is nothing but the war mahabharata war continuously again and again continuously again and again the self destruction raises its energy one of the important thing you need to know self destruction will look very humble polite as if innocent but if you allow the self destruction self destruction is what giving upon yourself and giving upon others whenever the self doubt self hatred self denial sdhd comes up giving upon yourself is self destruction see gandhari she gave upon herself otherwise gandhari is a trained queen she knows dharma she knows what is right what is wrong she should have brought her son up properly guided her, her brother shaguni properly but this one lady entered into one vamsha and destroyed the whole vamsha kundi one lady entered that vamsha and protected the whole vamsha from the destruction but if you see from outside both will look same tapas and self destruction so please understand tapas and self destruction will look same but one is out of completion another one is out of incompletion karana 
is an embodiment of charity. But unfortunately, his charity was dependent on, your, on his incompletion that he is not recognized. His charity was just to get recognition. From the beginning, he had that one deep incompletion, not being recognized. So just to get recognized, he is ready to give up anything. Otherwise, why will he give his life protecting Kavacha Kundala when he knows the fellow who is asking his Deva, Devendra, his enemy's father. It is going to take away his life. But the deep incompletion of not being recognized for the sake of recognition, the charity started. Please understand, charity done for the sake of recognition will only lead to destruction. That is what is the story of Karana. And same way, if you are not integrated with your Guru, everything you learnt will disappear, will be forgotten when they are really, really needed in your life. Many people think the teachings from Guru are enough, Dhamma is enough, Buddha is not required. Teachings are enough, Guru is not required. The Karana story, learning from Parasurama, but not being integrated to Parasurama, it gives a pseudo confidence when you are really in, in the war, in the field, in the fight. You realize you don't have the powers which you thought you have to fight the life. I have seen many people. They have their own imaginary plans how they can run their life without master's presence. They think the teachings are enough, the words are enough, Guru is not required. The integrity with Guru is not required. They jump into the war, suddenly they realize whatever they learnt is not there. It's no more useful. It is forgotten. I tell you, integrity with the Guru is like electricity supply, power connection. Only that keeps all your machineries, mechanisms active. Whether you have air condition, refrigerator, heater, cooler, fan, light, laptop, computer, TV, fridge, bed, you, you may have everything. But only with the electricity supply, all of them will function, be useful to you. If the electricity is not there, power supply is not there, none of them will be useful to you. Same way, the integrity with the Guru is a power supply, is an electricity supply. Karana has not learnt Brahma Vidya and Brahmastra Vidya from Parashurama, at least he would have been sure about his powers and capabilities, would not have entered to fight with Arjuna who knows the Brahmastra Vidya. At least he would have been clear about his capabilities, what he knows and what he doesn't know. But now, he has a pseudo confidence, say, thinking that he knows Brahma Vidya and Brahmastra Vidya. But unfortunately, when he is on the ground, on the battlefield, exactly picking up the Astra and trying to infuse the atomic weapon on the tip of the Astra, create that atomic energy in the tip of the Astra, he is going to forget the formula. 
God. What a scary situation. What a scary situation. I tell you, this Parasurama's curse is the worst curse. You should read Mahabharata, the original verses. Maha, Parasurama is not saying his curse to Karana alone. He makes a statement, whoever is not in integrity with the Guru, let them forget the Vidyas learnt, taught, blessed by the Guru at the exact time of need. He is not cursing Karana. Please read the lines. Read the original verse. That's the most scary shapa. Curse. Yudhishthira curses Kundi. When Karana dies, Kundi goes and cries, Oh my son, only then Pandavas came to know that Karana is their brother. So Yudhishthira curses Kundi. How dare you hide this secret from us? We have become sinners of killing our brother, the brother. Killing the brother, that sin has come to us. By you hiding this, then Yudhishthira curses, no woman's brain will be able to hold any secret. No, it's a, it's a curse he gives to the On, as a whole, not just on one. See, in the whole Mahabharata, there are only two curses, universal curses. All other curses were to the individual. In the whole Mahabharata, at least there are 100 areas where the curses are given. The power of integrity. The curses become reality. But there are only two curses. Universal curses. One is given by Yudhishthira. Another one is given by Parasurama. I think Parasurama is the Worst curse. Because he is not saying, O oh Karana, you will forget whatever you learnt, whatever was given to you by the Guru at the time of need. He is not saying that way. If you read the original verse, you will understand. The Vyasas, Mahabharata, Parshurama says, whoever is not integrated to the Guru, all the Vidya, all the blessings they received from the Guru, let it be lost exactly during the crisis moment of the life. You need to know, till the 14th day of the war, 14th day of the war, Karana was killed. Till the 14th day of the war, till 14th morning, Karana had the signs of Brahma Vidya with him, Brahmastra Vidya with him. Because he used it on Gadodgaja, he used it on Abhimanyu. So Karana was very confident that he is going to use it on Arjuna. He had a two invincible weapons, Nagastra and Brahmastra, given by Parasurama.
when he picks up the astra to energize the astra with the atomic energy please understand brahmastra is atomic weapon through the sound they created that collision between the atoms that kind of a powerful sounds were created from the navel the atomic effect was created so that when he is ready and fixing the arrow on the bow and trying to load the science is forgotten but the other side that guy is standing with the science alive what a scary situation even i am not able to digest the parashurama scars he could have given it to just to karana but parashurama sangari is always generalized <laughs> when he is angry with one chatriya he says i'll finish off the whole chatriya vamsa and he is angry with one disciple cheating the guru he finishes up the whole vamsha of the cheaters and he also makes a statement parashurama your glory will be remembered forever same way the mistakes you did also will be remembered forever as a lesson by the world he tells karana let this be a lesson for the whole world so never ever miss integrity with the guru never ever create incompletion with the guru the essence of today's satsang i'll share it in hindi aaj mein puna mahabharat ke bare mein aur kalpatar darshan ke bare mein vistar se bataunga tyag jo purnatva se aaye wo tapasya hai kintu vah tyag jo apurnatva ke karan aaye wah atma droh hai gandhari ka tyag आत्मद्रोह है मगर कुंदी का त्याग पूर्णत्व पर स्थित है इसीलिए तपस्या है धृतराष्ट्र जो कि आत्मसंदेह का प्रतीक है वो गांधारी के रूप में आत्मद्रोह का आमंत्रित करता है जब इन दोनों का विवाह होता है तो सौ सौ आत्मनिषेध संस्कारों का जन्म होता है जिस प्रकार दुर्योधन और सौ गौरव संपूर्ण राष्ट्र के लिए विनाशकारी थे परंतु आत्मसंदेह और आत्मद्रोह के द्रोह उनके बिना नहीं रह सकते आत्मसंदेह और आत्मद्रोह इतने दूरता है इनकी विश्व को लगातार दिखाते हैं कि संपूर्ति और श्रद्धा से कुछ प्राप्त नहीं हो सकता और इनको त्याग देना चाहिए मैं इन महाभारत सीरियल की पूरी टीम को बधाई देता हूं 
उनकी उन्होंने स्टार प्लस महाभारत सीरियल इतना अच्छा बनाया है सभी लोगों को इस सीरियल को देखना चाहिए कुंती कुंती तपस्या द्वारा सूर्य इंद्र वायु आदि के संपर्क से पांडवों का पांडवों को जन्म देती है किंतु कांतारी यानी आत्मद्रोह सौ कौरव के रूप में आत्मनिषेध के संस्कारों को जन्म देती है कई बार जब ये सभी आत्मद्रोह आदि के संस्कार मिल जाते हैं तो द्रौपदी वस्त्रहरण के रूप में विश्व को बताना चाहते हैं कि ये लोग सही है और जीत रहे हैं उस समय कृष्ण का गुरु रूप में आगमन होता है और अनवरत वस्त्र रूपी जीवन मुक्ति का विज्ञान देकर आत्म संदेह और आत्म निषेध का निषेध को पूरी तरह टक्का देते हैं मैं भी जीवन मुक्ति के विज्ञान को सुरक्षित रखूंगा और विश्व में लाखों जीवन मुक्त लोगों का निर्माण करूंगा कृष्ण की शक्ति ऐसी है कि संपूर्ति और श्रद्धा के तत्व नष्ट नहीं हो सकते केवल मात्र आत्म संदेह और आत्म निषेध का नाश होता है एक महत्वपूर्ण बात आपको पता होनी चाहिए आत्म आत्मद्रोह बहुत ही सीधा सादा संस्कार लेगेगा आपने आपको त्याग देना और दूसरों को त्याग देना ही सबको नष्ट करने जैसा है जैसे एक गांधारी के गुरुवंश में आने से पूरे वंश का नाश हो गया दूसरी तरफ कुंदी के आने से पूरे वंश का कल्याण हुआ क्योंकि कुंती तपस्या रूपी है जबकि गांधारी आत्मद्रोह का प्रतीक करना त्याग का प्रतीक है किंतु दुर्भाग्य वाश कर्ण का त्याग अपूर्णत्व पर आधारित है ना कि पूर्णत्व पर कर्ण को कभी भी सम्मान प्राप्त नहीं हुआ तो इसीलिए उसका पूरा त्याग केवल सम्मान प्राप्त करने के लिए था उसी प्रकार से जो कुछ भी अपने गुरु से सीखा है वो सब व्यक्त हो जाएगा अगर आप गुरु के साथ संपूर्ति में नहीं है कर्ण का जीवन इसका उदाहरण है कई लोग सोचते हैं कि गुरु से जो सीखा है वो पर्याप्त है गुरु की आवश्या आवश्यकता नहीं है मैं आपको बताता हूं बिना गुरु के साथ के जो कुछ भी आपने सीखा है वो सभी व्यर्थ समान है गुरु के साथ संपूर्ति का होना विद्युत प्रवाह के समान हो है जो आपको जीवित रखता है कर्ण जब अर्जुन से युद्ध करता है तब उसे वास्तविकता का ज्ञान होता है कि गुरु के द्वारा सिखाया ज्ञान उसको याद ही नहीं है परशुराम द्वारा दिया गया श्राप सबसे भीषण है कि जब हो, कोई कोई भी शिष्य गुरु के साथ संपूर्ति नहीं रखता उसका सारा सिका हुआ ज्ञान स्मृति विहीन हो जाएगा एसेंस ऑफ टुडे सत्संग ऑलवेज बी इन द स्पेस ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी विद द गुरु ऑलवेज बी इन द स्पेस ऑफ कंप्लीशन विद द गुरु लेट यू ऑल अचीव एक्सपीरियंस लिव एक्सप्रेस रेडिएट शेयर 
and explore in eternal bliss நித்தியானந்த தியான பீட்டம் நித்தியானந்த நகர் ஆஃப் மைசூர் ரோட் பிடதி பெங்களூரு போன் ஜீரோ எயிட் ஜீரோ டூ செவன் டூ செவன் டபுள் நைன் டபுள் நைன் டபிள்யூ 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 டாட் நித்யானந்தா டாட் ஓ ஆர்ஜி டபிள்யூ 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 டாட் யூடியூப் டாட் காம் ஸ்லாஷ் லைஃப் பிளஸ் ஃபவுண்டேஷன்